In a warm afternoon, the sunshine was particularly gentle and several small squirrels were enjoying the pine cones. They joyfully leaped and played among the pine branches, creating a scene of tranquility and happiness. As the little squirrels played with enthusiasm, they suddenly heard their squirrel mother's call. Reluctantly, they gathered in front of her. The squirrel mother, addressing the youngest squirrel, exclaimed, Why are you being so wasteful? Look at the pine cones you've thrown away. There are still plenty of pine nuts inside. The younger squirrel, feeling embarrassed, quickly hid behind his older brother. The squirrel mother continued, Playing all day like this is enjoyable, but when winter comes, you'll suffer. These bountiful and beautiful days won't last forever. You've played enough. It's time to work with me. Don't eat all the pine cones. Save some to carry back to the tree hollow for winter. The little squirrels protested in unison. We haven't played enough. We don't want to work. The squirrel mother had to invoke house rules. The young squirrels reluctantly obeyed, but still questioned. You keep talking about winter, but what is winter? Isn't everything fine now? Why should we prepare for winter? The squirrel mother explained, Winter is very cold, with snowy days where there's nothing to eat. If we don't store enough food, we might all go hungry. One of the young squirrels said, Oh, that sounds scary. Let's listen to Mom and start working. So, under their mother's guidance, the little squirrels collected fallen pine cones and diligently brought them back to their tree hollow. The young squirrels worked more and more enthusiastically, feeling like it was a new game. With their daily hard work, the tree hollow was soon stocked with enough pine cones to survive the winter. As the days grew colder, one morning, the young squirrels awoke to the howling of the north wind. They peeked out of their tree hollow and exclaimed, Wow! Mom was right! It's all white out there! The young squirrels huddled in their warm tree hollow, feasting on pine cones happily. They realised that by listening to their mother and working hard during those good days, they were now well prepared for the winter, enjoying abundance and happiness. On another side of the world, a mother deer brought her fawns to the vast wilderness in search of food. Once a lush green meadow, it was now covered in a blanket of white snow as winter had arrived. The young fawns looked puzzled, gazing at their mother. One of them asked, Mom, we can't see any food here. What are we going to eat? The dear mother replied, Don't worry, our lunch is hidden beneath the snow. As she spoke, she demonstrated by using her front hooves to dig through the snow, revealing some deep yellow grass. She let one of her fawns taste it, and the fawn said, It's not bad. It's really grass. The taste is decent. Encouraged by the mother's example, all the deer started digging through the snow to find the grass. The deer family moved to different spots every day, ensuring a constant supply of grass. However, as the winter continued, finding the grass under the snow became increasingly challenging. The mother deer had to travel long distances to locate the hidden meadows for her family. As the weather grew colder, the snowfall became heavier and it became harder to dig through the thick snow. Finally, one day, even the experienced mother deer couldn't find any grass. The deer herd began to panic and a young fawn asked, It seems like there's nothing to eat this time. What should we do? The deer mother reassured, The situation isn't that dire yet. The worst of the weather is about to pass and we still have some food stored away. She calmly demonstrated another method. This time she dug deeper, down to the soil, 
and eventually uncovered the grass roots. The young fawns cheered. They had something to eat again. Although the taste of the grass roots was not as delicious as dry grass, it kept hunger at bay, and they savoured its unique flavour. As the weather gradually warmed, the ice on the mountain began to melt. The river flowed gently again, and the ground became softer. Digging up the grass roots became less strenuous. The white winter coat of the meadow finally faded, but the dear mother knew that winter was not over yet. They would have to rely on grass roots for a while. With confidence, she believed her children, having endured the harsh winter, would survive the last phase of winter and welcome the return of spring, when the meadow would once again be covered in lush greenery. The lessons we can learn from the squirrels and the deer are as follows. In times of plenty, practice moderation, and in times of adversity, practice perseverance. Dear listener, that brings us to the end of the story. Thank you for joining us on this storytelling adventure. Good night.